Hey, welcome Cancer to my you got tea. Today I'm going to be doing your reading for the month of September, okay? So let's get into it. There's a lot of love coming through, so this is gonna turn into a love reading, even though that was not the intention. I'll put one general card at the end, but love is all over this reading. So please um, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Thank you, love. All right, so. Um, as on the bottom of the deck here, it seems like somebody wants to confess their love to you. Somebody really feels like um, you are their soulmate, okay? This person could be 41 years old, born on uh, April 1st, uh, something about April Fool's Day, and I'm getting like here, path life number nine, okay? But somebody feels like they're ready to give you the key to their heart. Okay, they feel like you hold a very special place. Also, the the the, um, the penguins speak of like eternal love, divine counterpart. So this is a divine connection. On the bottom of the deck, we have your you being near me is intoxicating. Okay, so this person looks for you everywhere. They look for you everywhere. They feel like being near you is intoxicating. Something about your pheromones, your smell, your scent. Okay, um, cuddling as well. Something about the winter time as well. Maybe your birthday's near the winter. I'm getting head in the clouds. Wow, I'm getting a lot of messages. Yeah, there will be a reconciliation in the winter time. We have, I regret lying to you. So this person has some sort of regret here, Cancer. Okay, um, if this message is resonating, please don't forget to like this video, share, all right? So your first affirmation, Cancer, that you can comment down below is I am manifesting my soulmate. Okay, another affirmation that you could have, period, is my energy is intoxicating. Claim that shit. Your energy is intoxicating, okay? Um, just like, well, not in a bad way. It's just intoxicating with your beauty and stuff like that. But you know what I mean. Spirit know what I need. The universe knows what you mean. The, uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, and Three of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? But there is communication coming through. So definitely 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 cold-hearted i'm feeling this person was cold-hearted to you they regret either putting you in a third party here connection allowing other people to interfere in this connection okay or they just regret breaking your heart lying to you doing something that betrayed you broke your heart or made you cry because i feel like you told this person like you hold the key to my heart or something like that mm, but they never really told you with the high priestess here you could be psychic very intuitive but this is telling me this is a very highly spiritual connection i feel like you don't know the truth okay you don't know the truth that this person wants to open up their heart and all this love that they have for you we have the will of fortune this is destiny they feel like you are their destiny okay they feel like it's it's faded and so there is going to be a big shift in your love life this month. You could also be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or Aries energy here. This person feels extremely passionate about you, Cancer. Definitely. Yeah, Page of Wands. This person could be younger than you. Or there could be an age difference here. I feel like um, they feel very excited around you. The world. You could have met this person online or you could be like from different parts of the world. They could be distant. I am getting that they are closing out a cycle as well. Yeah, there's a lot of regret here. What's this regret about? What did they lie about, Spirit, to get more specific? Clarify, I regret lying to you. Oh, we also have another card here. We have two more cards that fell. I hope that you can forgive me. So this person wants your forgiveness for lying to you about something, which we'll tap into. And then it says, I want to be more than friends. Okay, so this person could have lied to you. They're already stressed, if I must say, Cancer. This person is not really sleeping. Um, they're really crying individually. They may not really want to tell people how they feel. They feel like they're in a dark place. This is somebody who's acting like they're fine exteriorly, but internally they're really dying they really feel sad but with this king of swords it's like they want to put up a front and act all cold-hearted when inside they're melting for you okay we have i am becoming a better person so yeah i feel like this person is trying to work through that they're trying to become a better person and kind of release this pride this ego that they have um this is for cancer sun moon rising venus sign if i forgot to mention that in the beginning yeah look king of cups you might be dealing with this water sign as well but we have the emperor of Aries energy. I heard daddy. Ooh, okay. Somebody wants you to call him daddy or something. Look, Ace of Cups. This person um, 
is definitely in love with you. They either, this could be somebody new or fairly new that you just met, somebody that had options, somebody that was giving to many people, many, many people. Yeah, this, yeah, for sure. Could have been Libra here, okay? Could have been two people or multiple lovers that this person had. It's like they made you an option. This person regrets lying to you about maybe being single or who they were seeing. Um, but it's like there, there was there was like so much that they were giving to other people as well. But this person does want to be more than friends with you now. They could be like looking you up online if you have a platform or something like that. They're looking you up online. They feel like you know something. Or maybe they went to got maybe you got a tarot reading and exposed this person. Let's see. Yes, the truth is coming out. Clarify the three of swords. The star, Aquarius. They know that you are irreplaceable. You're one of a kind. No matter what the options, it's like none of these people are near you. They're near you. You're you're yeah, you're nothing compared to these people. You're you're out of reach. You're literally too incredible here. Um you're somebody very artistic or you know your worth you have a special talent you are a star seed here this person is keeping hope that they can be with you they can tell you their true feelings now but it's like they felt stuck at some moments even though they had options they knew that you were the one that it's you that stands out out of all this it's like i don't want none of these sevens none of these i want this person right you are their wish fulfillment. So there is a new beginning in this connection. You could be dealing with a uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This person might have come into some wealth here. This is somebody very wealthy or very stable. Okay. I'm also hearing Taurus, very stubborn. Seven of Swords. They definitely did lie to you about something here. Okay. Let's see what they were lying to you. They definitely kept the secret cancer energy here. But I feel like you found out or you're about to find out. Could have been about a Capricorn here. Could have been a secret pregnancy, something about a baby mom or their mother. Okay. This is a divine counterpart because I just saw the emperor. What what were they lying about, Spirit? What were they lying about? What were they lying about? Ten of Cups, maybe having a secret family. Or maybe um, not telling you how much they really envision a happily ever after with you. Or how maybe they wanted to, somebody here wanted to secretly get you pregnant. And maybe they did. Okay. Something about them having kids. They could have lied to you. Okay. They could have suffered. Some of you, they could have secretly tried to get you pregnant. They could have lied to you about having kids and like you finding out that they actually have a, a baby coming and they actually have a family or are married, have a wife, have kids. Okay. For those of you, this person could have lied and not told you that they were actually like bisexual is something I'm also getting. But we have the two of cups. This person does want this happily ever after with you. Um, they feel like. They feel regret that they put their ego and pride let get in the relationship, kind of acting like they were fine, all this macho or whatever it is. But the Two of Cups definitely tells me they feel like you are the one, you are their soulmate, and they're really hoping to not lose you. Five of Swords, it's like they try to manipulate you. Definitely a lot of uh, air energy. This person is an overthinker. Ooh, you could, you're definitely dealing with an air sign here you are or this person is just in their head a lot but they do want to come with an apology and a love offer here okay let's see what's going on with cancer here spirit in the month of september so you're going to meet a soulmate reconcile with this person here okay we have forgiving and learning yeah this person wants your forgiveness they really want uh, um, you both to release the past and start over and kind of focus on the present instead. One card fell on the floor, but I'm not taking that up. Okay, two cards fell on the floor. But, um, okay, we have worth waiting for. This person feels like this connection is worth waiting for. And then we have wedding. So yeah, maybe this person lied and didn't tell you that they were married. For others of you, if they're not married or maybe they were going through a divorce. My nose is so fucking itchy right now. We have calling in a soulmate. Again, you are calling, you're both calling in this person. You're both calling in each other. You're both manifesting one another here. And this person does see you as their divine counterpart, as somebody that they, you know, their future wife, their future husband, somebody that they will settle down with and build a family with. They're already visualizing a wedding, past life connection. This is a past life lover reconciling, coming back together. There's an instant, like, I know you energy here. This person may want to take you on a trip, on some type of retreat. 
for the both of you so maybe they can talk or something like that what else maybe that's why they pulled away i see myself with you in the future i just said that yeah they know that there's potential here for you guys to have a future together that they see you as their wife or their future husband you feel me like they see long term with you they, they see stability here this person definitely wants to be your husband or your wife i wish i could take it back there's something here that they regret and for some reason it's like it needs to be kept private okay but they will be telling you the truth long distance okay they, they feel like maybe you haven't talked in ages or maybe you really are like distance apart here with the world like overseas or online connection here like there's some type of long distance okay this person is trying to find their way back to you though i feel you yeah they feel your energy even though you guys are apart they feel your energy so much because again you're intoxicating to them i'm not ready okay so this person retreated in the past because they were not ready to accept these feelings that they had for you so they wish they can take that back they regret maybe not taking action finances are a problem see back then they had a financial problem but right now i really see that they've gained some type of job or stability or um promotion then we have i abandoned people to make myself feel important yeah they regret abandoning you they regret abandoning you with the six of wands it's like their ego and stuff got in the way to make themselves feel important they regret just leaving you breaking your heart and kind of acting cold-hearted when they know that like in fact they are obsessed with you you are intoxicating you might be literally the best sex they ever had somebody comment that down below i am the best sex they ever had comment down below i am manifesting my soulmate okay i'm manifesting my true love okay let's see what else uh spirit wants to say here just to kind of end this reading what else does uh this, the collective of uh cancer need to know all right let's see i'm hearing play a love song or something like that i'm gonna get one card from here anything else you need to know is in the flow okay everything is going in the flow everything is smooth feeling sailing there's nothing to worry about here with you and this person just know that yeah there's coins so you some of you guys are really about to tap into some wealth abundance unexpected inheritance so comment that down below i'm manifesting abundance i'm manifesting money okay this month it's like your numbers are going up if you have a platform you blowing up you're going up um somebody's birthday here could be september 26 as well maybe this is your person but your spirit guys are really trying to give you yeah marriage guys i can't make this up this person sees marriage with you you might be dealing with a leo um i'm hearing this person is very overprotective over you like they kind of like feel like they own you so anyways you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love this is an unconditional love this is your true love this is your soulmate and this person and you will get married okay that might literally be what's happening behind the scenes thank you so much cancer i hope this message resonated don't forget to like share and subscribe down, comment down below y'all shout out to all my cancerians peace out